It doesn't matter if you have a SRT8 Chrysler 300 with the 6.1 or SRT8 Magnum or SRT8 Challenger or an SRT8 Charger. It just doesn't matter. You can do the same thing for all of these. Now, these engines made anywhere from 420 horsepower in the SRT8 Cherokee to 425 horsepower in the Chrysler 300 SRT8, the Magnum SRT8, the Challenger SRT8, and the Charger SRT8. You see, when Dodge created this engine, they didn't take power adders into mind. They built this thing for naturally aspirated purposes only, meaning the walls are way too thin and the rods and pistons are pretty much crap. Now, if you're going to add boost, the best thing to do is add rods and pistons. In fact, the 6.1 liter Hemi is nothing more than a 5.7 with a bigger bore. They literally use the same type of crank. So this means if you're trying to forge rods and pistons and that's something you want to do, you got to go to MMX and get their 6.1 liter Hemi drop-in piston and rod combo. Comp cam stage 3 cam. Why? Because this is not an MSD engine nor is this a VVT engine. So you don't have to get a MSD or VVT delete kit. You don't need it. You will need a multi-layer steel head gasket. Now, you could definitely find some good long tube headers um, due to the fact that this is the Hemi's last year, supposedly. Parts are going to get increasingly high. You can find some uh, Cook's headers for cheaper than this. Um, but yeah. As for a power adder, you have multiple choices. Uh, but first, I would like to say most of these supercharger kits, pro charger kits, they don't come with injectors. So if that's the case, go get some Hellcat injectors along with a Hellcat fuel pump. And as far as your power adders, you can do like a Hellcat supercharger swap. You can do a um, you can do a Magnuson TVS twenty six fifty like this one. You can do a pro charger like everybody else do. But for the love of God, do not add a thirty over bore to these. Uh, 6.1 liter Hemi's the walls are already thin please don't do that you can do like a 200 shot of nitrous but I'm gonna be honest with you the 6.1 Hemi is good if you don't mod it after you start modding it you will face some reliability issues now, another method for making big power, you need to get a BGE 392 6.4 liter V8 from one of these 2018 and up Dodge Chargers and Challengers and stuff like that. Because the block is, it, it's, a, it's like probably three times, four times stronger than a regular 6.4 liter Hemi. They started in like the, the Ram trucks with the 6.4s. Yeah, but then, you know, Dodge said, you know what, we're going to use those for the cars also. So from 2018 or up, those are 392 BGE blocks. You forge the internals in those, add some boost, MLS head gasket, ARP head, and main studs, and you have a 1,000 horsepower engine. And the best part about all of these uh, Mopar vehicles is everything is pretty much interchangeable, so you don't have to worry about getting special engine mounts because you have an older SRT8. It will bolt right onto those engine mounts, right up to the transmission. I don't suggest it. I suggest you get that, um, that uh, NAG1 transmission transmission built like i kid you not uh mopar chic that guy is using a bge block and he has like a 80 plus millimeter turbo on that damn uh challenger dude is absolutely nuts so i'm just saying you know these bge blocks are so good you really don't even need a hellcat engine Hell, Hellcat engines run for about $15,000 just for the engine you can get these 392s from like 6 to 7k or just buy a wrecked 2018 and up Challenger or Charger or Jeep Cherokee from uh, Copart and there you go.